welcome back. Um, I'm Phil from Asta. Uh, here we're going to show you module six of oil painting restoration. Okay, now hopefully you've followed through from modules one to five, where we've put our patches on and we've done some basic cleaning up and repair, but now we're going to build it back up again. Uh, the oil painting um, uh, must start to be built back up to its original form. Okay, so this is a very important step. Uh, because it's the filler, okay? So let's look at where we are after the patches have gone on. Uh, let's see where it's left us, okay? And take a really close look at what we've got left and what we've got to do. And then we're going to fill it back up and then hopefully in the next couple of modules take it right back up to an unnoticeable repair, okay? Okay, well thanks for tuning in, okay. Right, there are nine areas of repair on this oil painting. Uh, let's take a look at the first three here, shall we? Uh, the first thing I want to look at is just how level and flat the work is. Um, these small areas here, I uh, just want a little bit of filler. Yeah, I can see with a, a straight edge here that there's a, a, a millimeter or two to go in. Um, I'm a little bit more concerned about this larger area just here. Um, if I put my straight edge across, um, and then just shine a light, I can see that there's quite a, a big area to fill. We're actually, um, we're actually quite uh, concave there, so we've got to get a fair bit of filler in there, okay? Right, so if you can see light coming under your straight edge, which I can there, it gives you an idea that we're well under the level that we're trying to achieve, okay? Now the area here uh, is just what looks like a split, um, and it seems to have patched up very well. I can't sense any problem at all there, so that'll be a very, very uh, easy area to repair. Okay, now there's an area here um, which is within the bark of the tree and some green foliage showing as well. Um, that seems to have patched up very well, okay. I don't see a lot of trouble there at all. Um, and also, I have to say that it's quite rough texture here. Um, and what we've got here is not unlike the original texture. So I'm quite relaxed about that as well. Okay. Right, this area here is a challenge. It's quite convex, okay? So it's not too bad in terms of patching up. But what the problem is here is the wax. Quite a bit of wax has come through from the back when the patch went on. That all needs removing, okay? Now, I don't see a lot of uh, canvas threads sticking up, but if there are any, I have to either bury them or cut them off, okay? And then, when we've cleaned it all up, we should be ready to get some filler in, okay? Uh, the other items of repair are so minor they're not really worth bringing to your attention okay okay so when you're going to work on a on an area always put your board under that is actually about an inch above the solid table so always put your packing board under so you're working on solid surface okay if we can find there it is beautiful just go there Right, nice and solid now, and now I'm going to have to start to remove some of this wax. methylated spirit is just moving that last little bit of wax for me because it's very important that the the filler adheres satisfactorily without that we've got a very serious problem but it's just bringing a little bit of paint off and so I want to neutralize it now before it continues to dissolve any more paint I'm going to simply neutralize what I've done there with white spirit, which is completely 
harmless to the paint, okay, to the oil paints, that is. So a little rub there, a little rub there, and hopefully, hopefully, we've got what we sought to achieve there, okay. Super, so now all I can do is wait for that to dry. Okay, it's been 20 minutes, so the white spirit should have evaporated very nicely by now. Um, I'm going to put the filler in now, um, and what I've got, just turn that round, make sure we're in, in view. What I've got is just a, um, a poly filler, it's pre-mixed, uh, fine surface filler, okay? Now, you can put a, a colour pigment into your filler if you wish. Um, I'm not bothering today because I'm actually patching up four or five different colours within it, within this painting. So to put a bit of brown in, to put a bit of green in, is actually um, here and there because I'm trying to patch up so many different colours. And besides, I am going to thoroughly paint it anyway. So it seems a little bit academic to do that, okay? So, bit of card here. Whoops, here we go. And... Get some poly filler out there, not too much, and pop the lid back on. Okay. When you fill, always have some clean water and some uh, cotton wool balls or something to actually minimise your impact because it's a lot easier than having to come back uh, later and file it all down or sand it all down. Okay. So try and get the shape of what you're trying to fill as well. Okay. We're, what we're trying to do is, is leave it convex, if anything. What we don't want is to end up concave, okay? I don't mind if it's convex. I'm proud because we can always rub it down again, but minimise to the point that you try and remember the shape of the damage and keep it to that, okay? Next one, yeah, always keep, try and keep your scalpel very clean as well. Try and remember the shape of what you're trying to patch up. If we can do that, okay. If we can do that in one hit, it's brilliant. Like I say, we can always sand it down, but that's work. Okay, try and minimise the impact. Okay, then there's a slightly larger area here which we'll go into. Again, nice clean scalpel every time. So continue to, to wipe that. Now there's something else I want to just mention. This is quite a deep one, I remember that, from when we put the straight edge on. Watch out for the texture because the last thing an oil painting is usually is flat. There are usually flat spots in it, I accept that thoroughly. But the last thing they tend to be is flat. So the texture looks reasonably flat just here. And it's not, certainly, there's not a lot of lines in it. Let's put a little bit more on that. There's not a lot of lines in it. If there was, I'd have to use a, a paintbrush and try and get some character into my filler. Okay. I mean, the, the painting work here is reasonably flat, so I'm quite content with that. Okay, a little bit more there, I think. You could always add more, of course, if you've got plenty of time. But we don't want to be revisiting these areas too often. But I'd rather you put too much on. Okay. Too much on and take it off again later either now or later 
Right, we'll pop that in there. I think we're just with a little bit. This will take more. There's a small island in the middle that doesn't need a lot of work doing to it, if any. I'll try and keep that island because it will help with patching up both texture and colour. Okay, it's quite a rough painting work in terms of texture around these leaves, which is absolutely perfect. It suits me. Okay. So far, so good. Use plenty of cotton balls. There's plenty of them. They're very cheap. Again, it doesn't matter if you put too much on. It's just that you're asking for a lot of work when it comes to taking it back off again. Right, I'm just going to stipple this a little bit with a brush because it's quite thick work and it's a, there's a lot of character within the brushwork in this area because of the leaves. It's very dappled. So what I'm going to do is just gently dig the brush in to try to emulate what's been going on during the painting of it. Okay. Just dappled that a little bit. Okay, okay, I think we've pretty much done here. Okay, so I've done all the filling here. Very importantly, count the amount of repairs that you've actually filled because the last thing you want to do is be one short because you've forgotten one. Uh, that really would take some time. Now, interestingly, I went um, uh, through the whole of the painting uh, with a torch like this, just looking for any damage. And in fact, I found 10 when I thought all along there was nine. So I've actually, I've actually um, patched a tenth up as well. Also, always lift the back up and make sure that wherever you put a patch, there is filling that corresponds with that patch. Because it's only too easy to actually have made such a lovely job of the patching up and the ironing that the damage is hardly visible. And you've, you've virtually repaired it, um, but you've missed it and it probably could have done with a little bit of filling. So just double check that wherever there's a patch, there's a little bit of filling, okay? And now all I can do is wait for that to dry. Well, thank you very much for watching this module. Uh, and I hope you'll join me for module seven, where we're going to rub anything down uh, and start to prime it up, get a little bit of varnish on, um, and then um, work towards getting a repaint, uh, which will probably, uh, sorry, probably be the module after. Okay, thank you.